The city of Fishers is poised to pass a 1% food and beverage tax. Yeah, so the measure cleared a second reading tonight before city council and will receive a final vote on Monday. News 8's Adam Pinsker joining us now from the newsroom. Adam, uh, why is the mayor defending this proposal? Yeah, well, Phil, Mayor Scott Fadness says Fishers is one of the few communities in central Indiana that does not have a food and beverage tax. He says revenue from the tax will fund a new convention center that will eventually be the home to the Indy Fuel hockey team. Founder of Fort A. Ray Brewing, Brian Graham, believes a 1% food and beverage tax would help, not hurt his business, which opened in the Nickel Plate District of Fishers in 2016. I think these things generate more uh, traffic to the area, and it's just really helpful for the entire economy. That is the vision the city of Fishers had when it proposed the tax, which Mayor Scott Fadness says will help capture more revenue from people who visit the area rather than its residents. The tax does not apply to groceries. The revenue will help pay for a $170 million 8,500 seat event center that will be the home to the Indy Fuel Hockey Club and could host events such as high school graduations and concerts. And I really do think we can point to a clear project here that will derive value for many residents for many years to come. And that's where I feel comfortable in advocating for this policy. Mayor Fadness says the tax would amount to 15 cents extra if your restaurant bill came out to $15. Fisher's residents already pay a 1% food and beverage tax adopted by Hamilton County in 2005, but residents like Chaz Dretzler say all these taxes are adding up. Federal income tax, Social Security tax, Medicare tax, Indiana State income tax, Hamilton County income tax, my property taxes, the Hamilton Southeastern Schools referendum tax, the Indiana gas tax. We're already paying a uh, Lucas Oil Stadium tax. I've been to two Colts games since Lucas Oil was built. The final vote on the tax increase will take place Monday at 7 o'clock. If passed, it will take effect December 1st. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.